Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your March 2018 monthly general reading. This is for uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Gemini. Uh, I hope that the message resonates with every Gemini who is viewing the video, but it, if it does not, check your uh, Moon, Rising, or check with another reader. They might pull your energy, okay? So let's get started, and I'll save the announcements to the end. Right. What's going on for Gemini in love? Gemini in love. Gemini in love. Three cards for Gemini's love life. Cards that will govern, guide. Gemini in love. All right. Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, The Moon, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Some of you can be dealing with an earth sign, fire sign, Pisces, Cancer. There's love here, but there's also someone else or something else that is hindering uh, or coming in between the relationship or whatever has been established here with, I'm sorry for the glare too, the Two of Cups. The Two of Pentacles, and then the Moon, um, and then the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. It's making you very defensive about the relationship, the Ten of Pentacles, what has been established about the family life. Um, you, you are the Seven of Wands. You're trying to either defend this relationship, maybe to other people, defend it to yourself, defend your stance on uh, your partner or with your partner because you know or have a feeling about another party here. All right. Messages and love for Gemini. We'll do one more love spread and then we'll keep moving. Messages for love for Gemini. Messages and love. For Gemini, true, accurate messages for Gemini. Oh, my Gemini's in love. True, accurate messages. All right. Five of Swords. Knight, <coughs> Knight of Cups, excuse me. Page of Pentacles. The Sun, King of Pentacles, All right, bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, the Sun, King of Pentacles. Excuse me. For some of you Gemini's, uh, the person of interest, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, may have someone else pregnant or just had a baby or there's baby news. I don't know if you're pregnant by uh, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer in particular, uh, but you're being very hostile and defensive toward the love interest because you know about maybe this potential baby some of you are dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus Sun Moon arising very grounded person but very stubborn they try to be equal and fair but they want what they want they feel like they can have what they want because They've done a lot to get where they are. Love is here, but what kind of love is it, though? It's, I feel like it's superficial here. And I, I feel like you feel trapped with the Eight of Swords, mentally stuck, stagnant. You don't see a way out of this because this person provides something for you, whether it's money, 
stability in whatever manner that is they provide something for you all right uh wow <clears throat> okay all right so my gemini's career and finance career and finance messages for gemini's in career and finance career and finance thank you thank you thank you heavenly angels for messages for gemini and career and finance messages for gemini and career and finance Messages for Gemini in career and finance. Messages for Gemini in career and finance. Ooh. I'm not going to take them. It's way too many. Career and finance. Messages for Gemini in career and finance. Thank you. Thank you. Messages to govern to guide their lives and career and finance. All right, so we have the Six of Cups, the Chariot, Strength. Six of Swords, bottom of the deck, the Devil. Okay, <clears throat> okay so off bat, when I first heard, and excuse me guys, I'm getting over a, a cold. For some of you, this is this is love again. <clears throat> For some of you, it's moving forward, getting in control of a new position, having the strength to do the job, to know that you can do it effectively and confidently. Um, but you keep thinking about past positions, past opportunity, past companies that you've worked with you have very nostalgic thoughts of them of you know just just that um <clears throat> but you're here now you know you're the chariot now six of cups the chariot strength six of swords the devil some of you are some of you can't move forward because of codependency a codependent relationship this could be with a Capricorn you can have Capricorn in your chart some on a rising you need to have strength that inner strength to move with the six of swords to have victory in your new position in your new career you, your thoughts keep going back and your emotions keep going back of the past. You keep either speaking to people from past positions. You need to be worried about here and now where you are now and having victory in your new position, having that strength to just move forward. Um, move away from the conflict of your mind. Get into a more pl placid and calm state and not feel so tied to the past. Ooh, everything is falling. All right, devil, and then the six of cups, feeling tied to the past. It was a good opportunity I'm hearing, but you're here now wherever that may be for you gemini you're here now you're at this position now cut the tie and be in the in the now for some of you your money has changed and you say you're here now you're you're at this point now monetarily in your finances so adjust to it all right Gemini family and home life family and home life okay 
Okay. Family and home life. <clears throat> Family and home life for Gemini. Family and home life. Messages of love. Messages to govern and guide their lives and their home life. Family and home life for Gemini. Family, home life for Gemini. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages. For whoa, way too many. Um, I'm gonna take the one that flew off. Okay, King of Cups. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Typically, that's Scorpio. In Pisces could be a cancer family and home life family home life family and home life for Gemini family and home life for Gemini family and home life for Gemini family and home life nine of swords page of wands Family and home life for Gemini. Ace of Pentacles. The Fool. Page of Pentacles. Okay. <coughs> what I just heard is that Whatever this is in your home life is here to stay. You got the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, some of you could be purchasing a new home, a, a large purchase here. You get a message that it, it's going well here for you. You have you were having some anxiety about that. What was going on? This helps you chart a new path. Uh, the Fool card is here. This helps you start over. For some of you, you're dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have some, some the anxiety and the, the mental anguish is high here because you've just got message that um, they're either getting engaged, they moved in, whatever it is, it's here to stay. Um, if not engaged in moving in, then it's uh, that um, this Cancer Pisces Scorpio is having a baby. There's something foundational here. Like, it's not moving. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, whatever this is, it's now in its infancy, but it's going to grow into, you know, it being rooted and grounded and solid. And what was under the page of Pentacles is the Five of Wands. Yeah, it's competition. It's it's the inner conflict within yourself. You don't know how to take this. You don't know what to do. That's for some of you. For some of you, you have a child in the home. Your child is having a child. Some of you got news that you can move on. That you can, that you, you know, some of you were looking for housing. And now you, you got news that it, it's come through and now you can move. All right messages for Gemini and spirituality spirituality and inner growth messages for Gemini and spirituality and inner growth what messages do we have for Gemini and spirituality page of sword the star the 
messages of spirituality and inner growth. The Queen of Cups. Seven of Cups. I just wanted to come out. King of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles. All right. Page of Swords, the Star, Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups, King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Some of you <clears throat> with the Page of Swords have given a harsh message. We've been very short in message. Maybe with an Aquarius or you're, you're being short in message because you need to heal in dealing with a Queen of Cups, Cancer, particularly Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but this is Cancer. Um, because you're confused. This person has brought a lot of illusion and disillusionment around you. You don't know. They have your emotions up and down. Some of you cutting something or someone else so you can heal some of you have cut off communication or you keep a communication short with someone it could be cancer pisces scorpio or an aquarius in particular or another air sign, Gemini, Libra, like yourself, um, so that you can figure out where your emotions are with this person. You're trying to be very intuitive, listen to spirit, get some spiritual download as to what you should do in regards to the situation. The King of Pentacles is here. You're trying to be like the King of Pentacles, very grounded, logical, methodical, strategic, but you're also being very stubborn. The Nine of Pentacles is here saying that maybe, you know, um, singlehood is the way to go for you right now. What's under Nine of Pentacles is judgment. You need to be very definite about your, your call. What judgment call are you going to make on this situation? Because I don't see you being able to go backwards. You can only go forward. Then the Eight of Swords is here, and that's why, wow, yeah, then the Two of Swords. The Eight of Swords is you, you keep going around and around mentally in your head about what do I do? Your emotions are attached here, but your thoughts say one thing, and then it's another thing, and then it's just a big merry-go-round. You don't know if you want to be partnered or single. But you know if you cut something or someone out, you can't go back. The two of swords is here. Saying that you need to make a head over heart decision. You know you need to. You know you need to make the decision. You have not right now. Two of swords and judgment. You're trying to check in spiritually so you can gain that spiritual clarity. Be like the Queen of Cups, very intuitive in regards to, it looks like a love situation. Wow. Um, sorry, guys. Um, you're all over the place emotionally. I'm, I'm going to be nosy. Two of Swords. Okay, Gemini. Instead of 
making a decision or not making a decision or making a decision to just be sneaky and do something behind somebody's back don't do that because the tower is here you're gonna get oh the tower and then the ace of swords you're gonna get found out so make the judgment call are you in or are you out don't try to be half in it and half out because you're going to lose it all then. Um, but no, in making the decision, you, you won't be able, if you do choose to turn something off, you're not going to be able to turn it back on at a later date. Or it could be very hard to. But don't, with the seven of swords here, don't just make the decision to be sneaky. And, or be a liar and a cheat because you, you're going to get found out and um, that's not going to be good alright so let's pull some advice cards thank you for two cards for of advice for Gemini's love life two cards of advice for Gemini's love life Two cards of advice for Gemini's love life. Messages that govern and guide their lives, their love life. Thank you, thank you, thank you for messages for Gemini's love life. Changing your mind. All right, take the next step now. Wow. Now, if that's not clear, that's not clear. I think that was coming through on that last spread, the spirituality and inner growth. Changing your mind. Some some dynamics of a relationship have been revealed to you, making it very aware to you that, you know, maybe some things have changed. So you, your mind is changing in regards to a person, particular, a person, a, a, a thing, a place, whatever. Um, so take the next step now. And if the next step is... Uh, walking away then do so if the next step is reconciling do so we'll take the next step now i'm gonna pull one more what's the next step thank you thank you thank you for messages for gemini healing from the past wow um my gemini is especially dealing with water signs cancer pisces scorpio your mind is changing about a certain dynamic of the relationship take the next step now it looks like you will be able to do that with the page of wands coming out for you heal from this situation so that you can go into the next situation whole all right so career and finance for my gemini career and finance for my gemini career and finance for gemini two two cards for gemini career and finance spiritual growth nice so for some of you um spiritual growth is involved with uh your career some of you could be light workers tarot card readers psychics energy healers volunteer nice this is going to ground you is what i just heard spiritual growth you'll be able to grow spiritually by way of volunteering some of you are too far up hmm I don't know whatever that means to you but it looks like you need a little grounding uh, in your career and finance it looks like you feel like you're there but spiritually, oh wow, I just heard spiritually, your bankrupt and volunteering will help you get to a place uh, where you can gain insight, knowledge about maybe the particular uh, field that you're in, or maybe it will just ground you so that you're you're more um, down to earth, grateful as to where you are okay family and home life decisions wow we did see that 
family and home life. You need to make decisions about what you're going to do, about maybe uh, your partner having a baby. Uh, or something being there to stay. Like something's not moving in a, in a certain family. Wow, and then family changes. This talks about someone entering the family by way of a, a birth, uh, a death, leaving the family, uh, divorce, uh, separation, uh, buying a pet, uh, family changes. Things have changed. Wow, family, family and home life for you. You, you need to make some decision as to what you're going to do. Are you in or out? Are you staying or are you going? Things are changing. Things have changed. All oh, right, spiritual and inner growth, parental care. So some of you might be parents. If you're not a parent, then you need to be concerned, more concerned about your parent. Uh, you might be gaining insight into that by way of, uh, you know, meditation, some type of spiritual ritual to popped over, spiritual growth, memories. Right, spiritual growth. Remember what happened. Remember what didn't happen. Remember how you moved in a certain situation and what you didn't do and what you should have done. Remember how you didn't take advantage of the opportunity and it was lost to you. Well, I don't know what that was for. I, well, courage, spiritual growth. I saw that in our last, in the last spread that we did. You have to have courage. Like, are you in or are you out? Are you going to take advantage of the opportunity? Or are you going to let it pass you by? Uh, gracefully aging. Oh, wow. I just heard gracefully aging. Some of you, you're getting older. You're not old. But you are getting older. Gracefully aging is not just about the physicality of aging, but it's also the mental and the spiritual. Gracefully aging is having the courage to to understand that in each year betterment betterment of the whole entire self should take place things will change dynamics will change it can't always be ab be about you or friends you have to take the next step to aging Wow, that's powerful, guys. I and like when I go on that little rant, that's not me. Like that message is for somebody. Like you, what it's saying is you have to grow up. Like you have to grow up. All right. So if this message resonated with you, please like, 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 share, comment, subscribe to the page. Thank you to those who have done so. It's much appreciated. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Ask me a question. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, please contact me for a personal reading. All information, all information, all information is below in the description box. Um, I look forward to doing next month's reading. Sorry about not getting all of February readings out. It's just been crazy, but it's slowing down a little bit for me. So um, I'll be here more for you. Um, remember, Gemini, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.